Well, it is the first day of school. Yes, it is. WXI 12 News on the Triad CW has you covered with the latest road conditions for buses, plus what to expect from the weather. And we're live as the superintendent from the area's largest district makes her first school visit of the morning. A good Monday morning. I'm Margaret Johnson. And I'm Kimberly Vanskoy. Of course, the weather always a big deal on the first day of school. It and is. You it, want it to be great. You do want it to be great. It feels like fall weather, that's for sure. Ah, oh, yes, your wish is my command. Temperatures <laughs> uh, certainly have cooled down a bit the last couple of mornings. Uh, lower 60s. We got down to 60 degrees yesterday in Greensboro. We're at 63 now, but still a very comfortable over the area. Mid to upper 50s out west this morning. So big, cool light jacket or hood worthy in those areas. Uh, we've got some mixed skies over the region this morning. Fair weather it should be pretty nice, but you can see the clouds are starting to bring at least a, a chance for a few showers. Asheville westward in the North Carolina mountains, and that chance is going to continue to develop tonight and into Tuesday as some of this moisture does get into our area. I don't think it'll be quite as wet, but a decent chance for some showers over the region today. Uh, northeast winds at 5 to 10 intervals of clouds and sunshine with high around 78 degrees this afternoon, much cooler than average. Tuesday looks cooler than average, too. We'll talk about rain chances this week coming up in a bit. All right, Brian, thank you. Checking traffic this morning at 8.01. I want to take a look at the maps. Everything is pretty much becoming a color now, whether it's red, orange, or yellow. I want to first start off this way. This is near uh, Clemens and 2 for Scythe County. We are seeing some red down in Clemens. If we could take maps full, that would be great. We are seeing some red down in Clemens along Highway 158. But otherwise, everything is pretty much okay when it comes to the accidents. This area of town near Old Salem Road, uh, right before Highway 66 along I-40 eastbound, we're seeing some yellow there, but no major delays in that region. And then across town, this is where 74 meets Interstate 40, Highway 311. No accidents there. That crash from overnight also in the clear. In addition to back to school traffic, this is what we're just talking about. Police in Winston-Salem are looking into what caused that deadly overnight crash. A little after midnight, police say 48-year-old Anna Waddello Greensboro well, Greensboro was killed as her tractor trailer overturned there on Highway 311 North on the ramp onto I-40 West. More information right now at WXI12.com. All right, Devontae, thank you. And our back to school team coverage marches on with Brandon Bates in High Point. Yeah, he's live from Allen J. Elementary in High Point. The students there just had a very special <laughs> visitor on campus, right? Yeah, the superintendent just showed up and she spoke to them for a little bit. As they came in, she was here to greet them. The teachers were here to greet them as well. And they had a little bit of live music here at the school. As students walked in, they walked down past the sign and they got acquainted with maybe their new teachers and their new classmates. The superintendent here says it takes a lot of work to set these kids up for success. Take a listen. People always ask me, oh, what did you do for the summer? Did you have the summer off? And that's when a district does most of its planning. We hire about six to 700 new staff members every year. We order materials, furniture, we paint buildings, uh, we do renovations. So there's a lot that goes into making certain that students and staff have a great first day and a great school year. And the superintendent also told me that they faced their fair share of challenges during the summer as far as teacher shortages and bus driver shortages. We talked a lot about that. They say they're even offering teachers an extra $9,000 onto their annual salary to help out and drive those buses. But she says despite those challenges, she is very proud of her district and she wouldn't trade it for anything. Reporting live in High Point, Brandon Bates, WXII 12 News. Brandon, thank you. There's some special events lined up this morning for students at several other Guilford County schools. The band from Southwest High will play for students at Florence Elementary. North Carolina A&T State University's volleyball team is welcoming students at Jones Elementary and at Colfax Elementary. Students will be greeted by Hype, the High Point Rockers mascot. And today as kids head back to school, the High Point Police Department, along with other local law enforcement officers, is teaming up for Operation School Watch. The focus is school zones as officers will be looking for people who are speeding, uh, who are not wearing their seat belts or are illegally passing school buses. They're also going to be following some school bus drivers on their routes to make sure that everything is okay. In Alamance County, the new Elon Elementary opens for students today. The elementary is on Walker Road in the town of Elon. The new school was created in a property swap between Elon University and the Alamance Burlington School District.
Democratic presidential hopeful Senator Kamala Harris is hoping her message to North Carolina voters will stick through the primary season. Senator Harris held a campaign event in Greensboro on Sunday at Smith High School. She called out Congress for not taking action on gun control and promised to do something about it if she's elected president. There are supposed leaders in Washington, D.C. who have failed to have the courage to reject a false choice which suggests you're either in favor of the Second Amendment or you want to take everyone's guns away, who have failed to have the courage to say, fine if you want to go hunting, but we need reasonable gun safety laws in our country, including universal background checks and a renewal of the assault weapons ban. The latest polls have Harris in fourth place, trailing Joe Biden, Elizabeth Warren, and Bernie Sanders. Joe Biden, meanwhile, also coming to North Carolina this week. He is trying to win the Democratic nomination for president. The former vice president is expected to attend a private fundraiser in Charlotte on Wednesday, but right now he does not have any public events planned.